Hello everyone, it's Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars, and I'm coming right back at you with another spectacular vehicle. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of a one family owned 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1 that only has 49,889 original miles. Yes, this is a true survivor and a very special car. You gotta check it out. To start off this uh, presentation here, uh, this is a non-rehearsed presentation. There's going to be some information that I'm sure to forget, so please visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a complete description with a ton of highly detailed photos. Um, if you have or have not been following MS Classic Cars, please note that I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. There are rare situations like this situation where I will go outside of my box based on what this vehicle is here today. I'll get into that in a minute. Once the vehicles uh, are purchased, we run our vehicles through our service department. We're the only classic car dealership in the country that services everything that we sell and we document that work with an invoice. So as an example, in this new binder, which I am gonna reference uh, during this presentation, we invested a total of $4,738.41 into this car. Once the vehicles are done uh, through our vigorous service process, we put them into our detail room. We detail them to the highest level, starting from the undercarriage, working our way right to the top. And then of course, once again, we do amazing jobs with our photography. And again, you can see all of that on our website at msclassiccars.com. Uh, so let's start um, quickly by saying how I acquired this car. Um, so I got a phone call one day from a gentleman. It actually started with an email, then it was a phone call. Um, he actually lived in Massachusetts, worked in Rhode Island. His name is Henry St. Pierre, super nice guy. Uh, he said that he had purchased, um, his family and so forth had purchased a 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1 that he had been the owner of for the last 20 plus years. And he said it was a survivor car. Uh, I started asking questions about the car and uh, you know, was a little bit skeptical in the sense that when people say their vehicles are in great condition or they're survivors, the more that I dig into the story, uh, a lot of times it just doesn't check the boxes that I personally look for. Uh, so I start asking him questions about mileage and documentation and the paint, the interior, the engine, and everything that he said was almost too good to be true. So I had asked him if he could bring the vehicle by the showroom. He said, Mark, I'll absolutely do that. I can take it to work, which I do occasionally. When I leave work, I'll stop right by. Matter of fact, I think it was like two o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon. 
So of course, the first thing I do when I see him pull into the parking lot is I grab my paint meter. I have an electronic paint meter that verifies that the vehicle has the original paint, which is so important to me when I'm looking at a survivor car. So I went outside, I put my paint meter on the car, looked at the quality of the paint, and of course, uh, I was blown away. Uh, once I looked at this interior, I looked at the engine compartment, I ran into the dealership, uh, made a few phone calls to the guys in service, had my guys in the detail room and Corey and everybody come outside and look at this car. And uh, I, I think if he hadn't brought the car in and somebody had brought this car to the dealership, uh, I would have argued that this car had been restored at some point. That's how magnificent it was. So uh, it was just a few days later, him and I finalized our deal. Um, he is going to be coming in with some of his family members uh, actually early next week. We will definitely take pictures uh, with them, with the car. So make sure to see those photos in our photo gallery. Hello everyone, it's Mark Chilero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. And I'm here with the St. Pierre family. And they're going to see uh, the 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1 for the first time since we've put it through our process at MS Classic Cars. Today, uh, they dropped off this photo here. I'd like to dedicate this listing to Roger. Uh, this is a great picture of Roger, the original owner uh, with the car at a car show with a plaque and so forth. This is not included, but we did take a picture of this. We thought it would be great to show everybody. And Henry also uh, did a letter describing the history of this vehicle, which he signed and notarized as well. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take the cover off the car. We did some light service work to the vehicle, and then we spent a couple of days, uh, Jimmy, Ricky, detailing the car. So it's fair to say that we have four days with one man, if you wanna do that, or two, two guys with two days, uh, really taking the paint to the highest level, the interior, the engine compartment, and the undercarriage. We did wrap uh, the wheels with brand new Firestone wide oval tires. Uh, so once again, let's turn around and check it out. Thank you. And you'll see the front bumper uh, underneath where the balance is. We took that off. We actually repaired the damage and we repainted it to match totally. We did not touch the driver's fender nor the passenger fender, uh, but we did indeed fix that whole balance and then the spoiler we removed that was on the bottom of it. Just open that door. I get the third set of keys at the front. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. regards to the engine compartment. Check this out. Wow. Mm. Very, very nice. Looks beautiful, right? Oh, it's it's very nice. new. <laughs> we didn't uh, take away from any of the originality. We didn't paint any parts. We didn't do anything like that. We just yes. spent countless hours cleaning. Yep. So did the whole firewall area, all the inner fenders, the whole radiator support. When you look at the pictures, it's hard to believe that all of this is original, but it, it clearly uh, shows beautifully. We even took pictures of the VIN numbers on both of the inner fender aprons. Uh, we took pictures of the buck tag that's in the back. Of course, the yellow spot over in the corner of the driver's side fender. We took close-ups of this close to these down here. So we really went above and beyond. There's another one down there. Grease pencil marks somewhere. That's nice, very nice. Yeah, it looks beautiful. It looks brand new. Roger, be proud. Well, thank you. Good brothers of He also was kind enough to drop a letter uh, that kind of tells the story of this vehicle, its history, and so forth. We will also have that letter included in the photo gallery. Uh, so once again, you can see why I am super excited to present this vehicle. Um, I do know sometimes our videos can be long boring at times, but it's very important that people understand I'm not really in an entertainment business. Uh, I am a classic car dealer, 
This is what we do, and my goal is to educate uh, people about the vehicle that we're selling and to be as transparent as possible. So what I'm going to do with this particular vehicle is I'm going to get outside the vehicle. I am going to walk around the entire vehicle, uh, go over panel by panel, going to use my electronic paint meter. We're going to just show you everything about the vehicle, uh, kind of get into the interior, the trunk compartment, the engine compartment, and we even did uh, the video uh, throughout underneath the car as well. So please uh, hang in there during this video. Again, you are going to be simply amazed. So what I would like to do is first mention, uh, go back to what I had said earlier, uh, that MS Classic Cars collects number one and number two condition vehicles. What that means is I'm into show quality. I like show quality cars. That's what I've been doing since day one, and it's what we always will continue to do. Once in a while, uh, I get a survivor car like this car here, uh, that uh, is so nice that it is definitely something that I'll put in my collection. Over the last, uh, you know, 10, 15 years, we've only had a handful of survivors. Uh, a couple that come to my mind right now is we had a beautiful 1973 Jaguar E-Type that we actually sold. Um, it had very, very low miles on it. Uh, I bought it from the original owner. It was a great story, great car. Uh, we also had a beautiful 1976 uh, Triumph TR6 that was also uh, a very limited owner type car. It had two owners. Um, it had all of its original pain and, and so forth. It, it was just a spectacular car that we sold. And probably the jewel of my Survivor collection was a magnificent 1971 Datsun 240Z. Uh, it was kind of a worldwide phenomenon, if you will. Um, anyway, a very special car that was a Survivor. So we have our experience with Survivors. We've had some special ones, and this is one uh, that now is going to be in that group uh, that I will mention with the next one we buy down the road. So please pay close attention. Uh, so I'm going to read this information here off of my website. I am going to reference this information with this binder, uh, just so we can kind of put two to two together here. Again, you can reference all of this on our website. Uh, we do pictures of all the documentation, et cetera, et cetera. So here we go. This one family owned 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1 is a true survivor with only 49,889 original miles. It's loaded with original documentation, including two build sheets. So real quickly in this binder, you will see the build sheet. This is very, very, very important because this is uh, all the information when the car was built that was put in the vehicle at the factory. Most cars that were built do have build sheets, different makes, different models. Now, you only see one build sheet. I mentioned two build sheets. Where is the second build sheet? It's still in the car. Yes, we have photos of the build sheet in the car as I sit uh, behind the driver's seat under the carpet. We have the build sheet that is attached to the floor. The first time I've ever purchased a vehicle from this error and still have a build sheet attached to the floor. So you'd ask, why is the build sheet not in here with the other build sheet? Because the build sheet is stuck to the floor. We are afraid that if we pull it back, it will actually do damage to it. So we're gonna leave it there, but we took really good photos of it. So make sure to check it out. That is absolutely awesome. Now, moving on here, um, it retains its original sheet metal, original paint, original interior, original engine, original transmission, and the original rear end. Again, we're checking boxes here. As uh, and included with the original build sheets, we also have the original Ford invoice. Uh, this is the Lewis Eminger report, which is very uh, uh, popular in the Ford world. Marty Auto Works actually sells these. Um, they have the originals, which they give out once, and then they make copies for people thereafter if the car exchanges hands and these are misplaced. We have that original Ford invoice right here. So again, this is original piece of information here. It tells who the vehicle was sold to, the options. This is another key piece of documentation with Ford products. Now, we also have the uh, Marty Auto Works Deluxe Report. Um, which is also very important. This is a great thing that Ford did. Um, this is uh, what you can see here. Again, you can look at it closer in our 
photo gallery, but it clearly states what this vehicle was, what it was ordered with, and so forth. Again, very, very important information. They even get into when the order was received, when it was actually built, and when it was sold. And then they break down all the statistics of the vehicle, which I'm gonna get into in a minute. So, uh, getting back to here, um, this vehicle was ordered on October 21st, 1969 by Rodman Ford Sales located in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Rodman Ford is still in business today. Very cool. My father lives in Foxborough. He literally lives right down the street, which is also next to Patriots Place where the New England Patriots play football. Very cool deal. It was ordered as a 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1 sports roof with a grabber green exterior. Yes, this car is grabber green, one of the most popular and most desirable colors for Mustang enthusiasts. And it is uh, complemented with a white clarion knit Corthian vinyl bucket seat interior. Again, it's white, black, it is absolutely gorgeous. It was also ordered with the following options. This is in no particular order. It has a black hood stripe. It also has a shaker hood scoop. It's got the rear deck spoiler, the F7014 belted uh, tires with raised letters, AM radio, power steering, of course the 351 V8, the FMX cruisomatic transmission, the 3.00 track lock differential, and power front disc brakes. This car, is one of only 10,790 with this engine and transmission combination. So we're getting down to some relatively no, no, low numbers here. It's one of only 1,166. Think about that statistic, painted in this color of grabber green. And it's one of only 273 with this paint and this color interior. So that is a really, really big deal. And again, this is a very rare color combination. It was actually built on November 19th, 1969 at uh, the Methuen, New Jersey factory. It was then dealer swapped to Tonderunt Ford located in North Attleboro, Massachusetts. So Rodman Ford, which was very common back in the day, actually dealer swapped it to another local dealership uh, for this particular customer. It was sold to Roger J. St. Pierre, on February 18th, 1970. Roger also lived in South Attleboro, Massachusetts. The original bill of sale, which we have here, again, we talk about documentation. This car is checking all the boxes. We have, which again, you can see close up in our photo gallery, the original bill of sale when Roger built the car, bought the car, very, very cool. Also, we have the original retail contract. This is for the loan that was taken. It shows his trade-in. It shows the information, where he lived, etc. We also have more information uh, as we go on here, which is, again, all documented. So um, some of that information includes uh, the warranty card as well from Ford. Um, that is a very important warranty uh, card that, again, people look for when they're buying these vehicles. That is included. We also have an original key tag from the dealership, 1970, 52 years old, pretty crazy. So the story goes that Roger enjoyed the car occasionally and showed the car over his years of ownership. This was not his everyday vehicle. This was clearly a second vehicle, something that he enjoyed on nice days, again, car shows and so forth. Um, Roger uh, did um, join the Mustang Club of New England, which we have an envelope. Matter of fact, it's in the photo gallery. It's right here as well. This is directly from that company as well, which I'm a member of also. We also have the cards in here. There was some stickers in here that were sent to him. That is included uh, with the vehicle as well. And <clears throat> uh, again, there's a plaque that he got with all the car shows that he went to. That plaque is also included with the car and there's even a, an award that he had won, which is also included. Again, you can see all of those. Um, so. Roger sold the car after 25 years of ownership to his family member, Roland St. Pierre, on June 10th, which is Quinsdale like me, my birthday, 1995, which is again documented uh, with the included bill of sale. So that bill of sale is right here. Um, this is basically from June 1995, and it shows that Roger sent, uh, sold the vehicle to one of his family members, Roland, which is again fully documented. 
So, um, Roland, after seven years of ownership, sold the car to his family member, Henry St. Pierre, who is the gentleman I referenced in the beginning of this video. Uh, again, at the time, uh, the vehicle, and this was documented, when that vehicle was sold and when Henry uh, did this uh, deal here, the vehicle only had 30,198 original miles. We have the title from Henry that documents that. So again, everything is fully documented. Henry sold the vehicle um, after 20 years of ownership to MS Classic Cars on September 20th, 2022 with 49,888 original miles, which again is documented on the title. So the Marty Auto Works reproduction door tag, original parts, Ford shop manuals, uh, miscellaneous reading material are included. As I mentioned, there will be some pictures of uh, Henry and his family with the car that we're putting in the gallery. And again, the letter that he's gonna write about the history of the car will also be included there as well. Um, finding a documented one family owned 52 year old survivor is extremely rare. This car appears so nice that it looks nicer than a lot of the restored cars that are out there. So once again, uh, that is the story of the car. Uh, please reference all this information on the website. I'm gonna get out of the vehicle now and we're gonna start our presentation and show you how magnificent it is. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna start the exterior presentation uh, of our beautiful Mustang that we have here. Uh, as I've mentioned, this car is a survivor. So there is no question uh, of what I'm going over here with you today. There really isn't uh, even room for opinion because the car is original. So I'm gonna use this paint meter uh, to document as I go through the entire vehicle. We've also taken pictures uh, of the paint meter readings, which you can see in the photo gallery. So let's go ahead and start uh, with the vehicle. The nicest thing about this vehicle is we have receipts dating back to way uh, back when the car was owned by its original owner and what he had done with the car during his time of ownership. So we clearly uh, know what parts were replaced and so forth. And everything that we're going over here today uh, was well described and well documented. Uh, so let's first start with the hood. Uh, the camera might or might not pick up on it, but you can see that perfect amount of factory orange peel, which was very common back in 1970. When we look at this paint, it looks absolutely spectacular. Uh, again, the guys in the detail room did a really, really nice job. Uh, so what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna just look over each panel, tell you if I see anything that's worth mentioning. I'm talking about something the size of a pen tip. Uh, if it's got a little chip or anything like that, I will mention it. There is a little, little tiny imperfection here. Remember, this car is 52 years old. Look at this car, it's in magnificent condition. Uh, so let's go ahead and use the paint meter here. This shows a 1.5. That is 100% original factory paint. Again, you're looking for numbers uh, on older cars, typically from one to say four. Uh, five even at some points, and then the newer cars, typically from three to seven or eight with this paint meter would be original factory paint. Anything above that would indicate it's been painted or had body work and so forth. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this side of the hood here as well. Again, we got a 1.5. As we make our way to the front of the car here, this is in beautiful condition. This is the original grill, original lenses, original bezels. Uh, I did put pictures in the photo gallery of all the numbers on all the lenses for all the people out there that have any doubts. Uh, this bumper here is the original bumper. It's in beautiful condition. I would tell you that this bumper honestly looks like it's a year old. It's in that kind of shape. So as we make our way over to the driver's side uh, fender here, this is the only area of the car that possibly something was done maybe even at the factory because we are getting a reading that's a slightly higher reading than the rest of the car. But again, it's not high enough where it indicates body worker paint. It just maybe was something that was feathered in at the factory, whatever the case might be. So let's go ahead and do that. So we got a 4.0. So clearly this is still a super low number, which wasn't uncommon to have a little different readings throughout the car. Um, again, if I use the paint meter on the side of the fender, 
You can see it's a 3.0, so again, we have original factory paint. Looking over this fender here, I don't see any chips on the side of it. I don't see any scratching, which is absolutely amazing. It's in beautiful condition. Uh, again, everything is super nice. Now, while we're down here, I am gonna mention one thing. This lower valance, when they bought the car brand new, when it arrived at the dealership, it had damage on here. Um, so the dealership gave them the option of repairing it and painting it, which they did. On the other side, it did a little bit of damage to the passenger front fender, which I'll show you when we make our way over there. This, because it was painted at the dealership, didn't hold up extremely well over all that time. So what MS Classic Cars did is we did a little bit of repair work and we actually painted this lower uh, front valance here to make it look as nice as it does today. We also, uh, underneath here at MS Classic Cars, we actually painted this because when they undercoated it, they actually undercoated it underneath and it really looked kind of sloppy, to be honest with you. We did not touch anything on the fenders, but we did that. And these mud flaps were on here. They've been on there for years. Regarding the tires, we put brand spanking new tires on this car. These are Firestone, they're wide ovals, they're the Super Sport, they're the FR7014, which is the correct tire for this car. And although these look like rims, these are actually hubcaps. Really cool design. These are the original hubcaps. Look at the condition of these. They look like they just came out of a box. They're in that nice of shape. Now you'd ask yourself, why do they look that nice? Well, I'll tell you why. Because in 1977, Roger, the original owner, purchased a set of aftermarket wheels, which are included. So you will see those in our photo gallery. All four of those wheels, which are wrapped with BF Goodridge radial TAs, are included with the sale. So these hubcaps, uh, were actually off the car for most of its life, and that's why they look as beautiful as what they do. So as we make our way over to the front window here, you will see how beautiful this glass is. It does have a couple of little spots, which you would expect with a car with 49,000 miles on it. Um, again, it's in beautiful shape, and you do have the Ford stamp down here from the factory that indicates original glass. These are the original wiper arms, the original Vintag, which is in beautiful condition, all the original stainless trim. Again, this has never been restored. This is a survivor. The original sport mirrors, you can see a couple little chips, nothing really that's a big deal. Again, this was a second vehicle. This was not an everyday vehicle. As we make our way over to the roof, which is in beautiful condition, I don't see any scratches. I see no chips. I just see a perfect amount of factory orange peel, which is wonderful. Paint meter, 2.0, original factory paint. Can you believe this? 1.5, look at this. 52 years old this paint is. Look at these drip rail moldings. I mean, they're like out of a box. They're like brand new. Look at this. Again, uh, just a car that I'm very impressed with. As we look at the door, okay, making our way down the door here, I'm looking at the driver's door. I don't see one chip or one imperfect. Oh, actually, there's a little tiny thing there. Again, barely noticeable, but the rest of this is like new. The moldings down here are also original. These black moldings, they're like new. The Mustang emblem, the mach emblem, they're all like new. The door handles present themselves beautifully. Check this out. Look at the gaskets that are around these door handles. You just can't make this up. I mean, it's just magnificent. The way this door opens and the way it closes, again, it's just like the factory did it. And again, let's do the paint meter here. Again, just to show you, 2.0 original factory paint. Why we're on this side of the car, I just briefly want to touch base on the gorgeous interior. The interior of this car honestly looks like it has been restored. It is that beautiful. So we have a very tight headliner. The headliner has no sagging. Uh, it's in super condition. We took this seatbelt down just when we were doing the video, but you can see the original seatbelts with all of the original tags on them and all the coating and so forth. You look at the rear view mirror, a lot of times those get all cloudy and so forth, that's original. When you look at this dash, the dash in this car is so nice. 
It's amazing. There's no cracks. There's no fading. Once again, this car was always kept inside the garage. It was always treated literally with the white glove uh, type of deal. L look at the speaker area, which is typically always cracked. These gauges are all in working order, okay? Black gauges. It's got this beautiful simulated wood trim that houses the gauges. The wood trim is also on the console. Everything in this interior is in working order. It's got the rim blow horn. You can see how beautiful this original steering wheel is here. Again, the radio works, the heating system works. I've driven this car multiple times. It drives beautiful. The console's beautiful. You'll, you will see a little bit of patina, like down here, you'll see a little patina. I guess if you get really fussy, like on the steering wheel, uh, you'll see a little patina. It's original carpeting. As I mentioned earlier, the build sheet is still attached to the floor behind the seat. The floor mats, look look at this. Look at, look at underneath here. It is absolutely like brand new. This is like new, 52 years old. The seats still are very comfortable, very firm. Uh, the back seats are in beautiful condition. All the paneling, notice when the doors open, the dome lights are in working order. The glass is still in beautiful shape. Look at, the, look at the way these windows roll up. Look at this. I'm barely using any effort. You have your stamp over in the corner, which again, we took pictures of in the photo gallery. You can see that. I would say the only imperfection in this interior that's worth noting is the driver's side, of course, where, you know, Roger sat most of the time. Door panel just in this little section is starting to crack. Now, there are people out there that can repair this and they can do a really nice job. But once again, we wanted to leave the vehicle as original as what we could, and we didn't want to do that. But when you look at the quality of this door panel and how it fits and how everything works, this is a remote mirror, by the way. Look at how this rolls down. Look at this. It's like beautiful. Just you can't duplicate this. Look at the lights all work. It does have some patina. Just absolutely stunning. As we make our way over to the rear quarter, again, you can see the factory stamp on that glass. We do have a couple of imperfections here. We have this little, little tiny thing here. We've got a little, little tiny thing there. Again, nothing to be concerned about by any means. Again, look at this, 2.0, original factory paint. There's no dents, by the way. I would tell you if I saw any dents or if I saw any uh, huge scratches, this is in beautiful condition, this driver's side rear quarter. Look at this, 2.5, original factory paint. Once again, we have brand new tires. These are the original hubcaps around this car. Do they get any nicer? I would imagine somebody would pay a fortune for those hubcaps based on the fact that they're original and they're in such nice condition. Once again, MS Classic Cars did a little touch up on this fender area here underneath. I'm talking about underneath the lip where the undercoating was sprayed over. Again, these mud flaps were added. As I make my way over to the back here, these are original, these lights, I took pictures of all that, day coded them, uh, made sure, again, the bezels, the rear bumper, everything was done. This is the original spoiler. Again, I'll use the paint meter on the trunk lid here. We got a 2.0. This glass is in gorgeous condition. This glass is near perfect. 52 years old, it is crystal clear. No imperfections to talk about, there's the stamp. Very special. You will see in the interior that rear speaker, which is really great. That's the original Ford speaker uh, that's back there. When you look back here on the car, all of your factory decals are like new. Look at these gap lines and everything. It's just really nice. I day coded all these lenses, all the bezels. It's all original. This is all original. The gas cap has a little bit of patina around it. Again, that's original. Rear bumper's original. Why we're on the subject of the rear trunk, let me just open this up quickly. Check out this. Now, these little pop rods, people don't know that they had these. This is still intact here. So we'll just kind of put it like this. When we make our way down here, uh, again, you won't see this with this camera because it's hard to capture it, but we do have the original Ford speaker. I took pictures of that in the gallery. This is the original trunk mat. In the gallery, we lift up the trunk mat. You can see the original factory glue that they used. The stickers are still on the lights in the corners. Um, this is a, a new, brand new spare tire that we ordered when we ordered the rest of the tires. I will note 
The only thing that they did not have was the spare, um, kind of a long story on that. So we did find a correct spare rim. So this is not the rim that this car was born with, but we did get a date coded, uh, I guess is what you could say from this error rim. And then of course we wrapped it with a brand new tire. So again, make sure to check out the photos in the gallery of this. You will be absolutely blown away by the condition. So making our way over to the side here, this passenger rear quarter, once again, 2.5 original factory paint make our oh, and again, I don't see any imperfections on here. I don't see any chips. I don't see any real scratches. Again, you can see my reflection in this paint. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at this 2.0 original factory paint. Once again, look at those beautiful hubcaps. Brand new tires. Once again, we did a little bit of touch up work through here, to clean up some of that undercoating that was done when the car was new. Gorgeous. Roof 2.0. Again, I'll use it here. 2.5. Original factory paint. Nothing to make note of. This is in beautiful shape. When you get really close to this car, I'm going to say within a foot, you can see that factory orange peel, which is what people look for with original cars, especially if they're gonna have them judged. When you step away about two feet, it looks like a show car. Look at the drip reel moldings again. I am so impressed because when you talk about something that's 52 years old, you, you just don't expect to see this kind of stuff. It is absolutely like a restored car. Now, there's a story about this piece of glass. This is the only piece of glass that is not original to the car. So what Henry had told me was one day, um, I'm going to roll this window up. Again, this window is smooth as silk. Somebody tried to actually break into this car, never was able to get into it, and they damaged this glass. So Henry had told me uh, that they had replaced this glass years and years and years ago. Um, but anyway, all the seals and everything else is original, but they definitely replaced this glass. This glass, on the other hand, is the original factory glass. And once again, it presents itself beautifully. I think of all the survivor cars I've ever owned, this car has the best original glass that I've ever seen. Just want to make comment on that. And again, look at these gaps. Look at these. These are factory gaps. Look at how this door opens. It's just, look at this. I should have mentioned on the other door, which you can see in our photo gallery, it still, of course, retains all of its original tags. These are not reproduction tags. These are the original tags. These are the original moldings and gaskets and screws and everything else. When you open up this side, uh, unlike the driver's side, you can see how much nicer this is. It does have a very similar crack uh, right here as well, but it's in much better shape than the driver's side. And again, the rest of this is in beautiful condition. Um, this interior is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at these seats, the door sills, again, all original. Everything is original in this car. The only thing that was done to the entire interior of this car that is not original, the clock was actually converted to the electric style um, because the clock had stopped working. So it is the original clock, it was just converted. So again, that's the only thing to reference. Again, look at this window go down. I am gonna show you the paint meter on this door. 2.0, original factory paint, no blemishes, no scratches, no dings, no dents. Again, the lower molding is absolutely spectacular. Again, almost too good to be true. Original sport mirror here, no imperfections. The glass on this side, all the stainless is beautiful. Again, original wipers, original antenna. Here we go with the Fender 3.0, original factory paint. Come down to this side here, 2.5 original factory paint. Again, original emblems, no imperfections to talk about. The car is spectacular. Again, brand new tires, original hubcaps in beautiful shape. Mud flaps again were added, and again, we touched up underneath here as well. So let's go ahead and open up the hood. Look at this. This is, this is the area besides the paint 
that I am the most impressed with. When you look at this, it's like looking at a car that somebody restored. I wouldn't say concourse restored. I would say just, you know, spent some money and did a nice restoration. So look at the back side of this hood. Everything is original. It even has some of the original factory drip marks. People think back in this, you know, this time frame that cars were perfect. They were not perfect from the factory. And this is a perfect indication of it. Look at this, the original yellow stamp that was done at the assembly line and so forth is still here. You will notice in the corner, that's called a buck tag. We have a complete breakdown of the buck tag on the inner fender. That's really, really cool to have. Everything matches as it should. Um, you will also notice in our photo gallery that right here in the corner, there's another yellow tag, which you can see, uh, it's a stamp rather, that you can see that's really awesome. Um, I would tell you that all the paint in here, the firewall, the inner fenders, all of this is original. It's 100% original paint. None of this has been touched up. Look at how beautiful the horns, the latch assembly, the radiator support. The radiator itself was record, uh, but again, we have all this original stuff here. Now, this engine, this is of course the original matching numbers, 351 Cleveland. It has never been rebuilt. Matter of fact, they still use lead additive when they put fuel in this car. It's never been rebuilt. The heads have never been off. It's never had any internal stuff done to it. Now, during uh, its lifetime, a few things which are documented on the receipts have been done to the vehicle, like the water pump as an example. Um, when the vehicle was serviced in 2022, uh, they did indeed um, do a bunch of stuff to the car, which I'll go over in a minute, uh, but they did take the valve covers and repaint them, and then they re-stamped this here. They did that because the valve covers, like the engine block, was starting to show significant wear, so they did indeed do that. Now, what Henry did, this was, again, this was in 2022, is Henry actually uh, painted these, and then what he did is he took the sticker off of the original uh, valve covers and put them back on uh, the valve cover. So again, those are the original valve covers. Uh, the engine uh, itself was never painted. That's all original, but little things like the coil, like the distributor, uh, like the spark plug wires, those were changed. We do have a, a lot of the original parts. It still even has its original carburetor, okay? This is the original alternator. Uh, there's so many things about this car that are original. Um, we even have the original voltage regulator, which was replaced. So as you would imagine, a vehicle of this age that has you know, 49,000 miles on it, you're gonna have some things that need to be replaced over time. Uh, so again, all of the boxes are checked when you're looking at this. It is absolutely stunning. Now, one thing I wanna mention here is look at the chalk mark on the front apron here. Look at this, that's original. We have pictures of that in the gallery. And over here, look at over here as well. We have that in the gallery as well. You can see that, that is original. Again, judges would have a field day with this car studying its originality. This engine is actually coupled to the original matching numbers, FMX transmission. We have all that information uh, in our gallery. I, I decoded everything like the buck tag, the engine numbers, the transmission numbers. The rear end in this car, again, is original to the vehicle. The tag on the rear end matches the tag on the build sheet. So once again, everything uh, is documented. Nothing has been rebuilt. The transmission's never been out. The rear end's never been changed or gone through. The engine's never been changed. It runs absolutely spectacular. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make my way uh, to the detail room where our lift is. We're gonna go underneath the car, show you the underneath, and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna just uh, start the vehicle, let you listen to how beautiful it runs. Let's do that now. So what we're gonna do now uh, is a quick review of the undercarriage of our 1970 uh, Ford Mustang Mach 1. Again, this is a survivor car. Uh, so let's start off with the back here. Um, this car was undercoated uh, at the dealership when it was new. Um, so when you see the underneath this car, it was preserved very, very well. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna mention here is this fuel tank. The fuel tank was actually replaced uh, a few years back, which is on one of the service invoices. This is a new fuel tank. Uh, these tips were actually replaced 
uh, in 2022. Uh, this exhaust system here was replaced in 2016. We're talking just these tailpipes here and these 40 series Flowmaster mufflers. The rest of it is all original. Um, one important thing I wanna mention is these little drip plates here. Those are really cool to see, especially on a vehicle uh, that's 52 years old. And you'll see over on this side, we have them here as well. You will notice uh, in different areas, you will see the red primer and you will see some of the original paint because a lot of times these cars were fogged at the factory on the assembly line. So as an example, you can see uh, some of that original paint underneath this undercoating here and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, you'll see on this rear end here, this original chalk mark, which is kind of interesting. Again, all this is in beautiful shape. A lot of the suspension and braking system was recently replaced in 2022 as the service invoices uh, document. But again, check out this. This is one of the coolest uh, things to see here. This is the original red oxide primer. You can see a little bit of the overspray from where they painted it green again. Uh, you can see some of it here as well, but I could only imagine how beautiful the underneath of this undercoating is. We were actually contemplating doing dry ice, which would remove all of this. Uh, it's quite a process. It costs a couple thousand dollars at minimum to do, and it really would show how beautiful the undercarriage was. But the more I thought about it, I thought we should just leave it alone. And if the new owner wants to do a dry ice and remove all the undercoating, he or she can. But anyway, this is uh, that beautiful red primer. There's some more here as well. And then you can see the color again here. Uh, again, can't get any more original than that. Uh, looking at this side, you'll see the same thing over here. You'll see this red primer. You'll see again the paint. That's the grabber green paint. As we make our way down the center here, this is all super solid. Um, you will see the original pipes here, clearly the original. This is the original drive shaft, of course. You can see the striping on the drive shaft. Again, this is in really, really nice condition. As we make our way to the front, uh, you'll see again some of this red primer coming through here. It's absolutely beautiful. At MS Classic Cars, we really didn't do any work under here other than just cleaning it. But again, there's that red primer. And then of course, as we make our way uh, to the front here, we do have uh, the original transmission, which we put all the numbers uh, within our listing so you could see all of that. Uh, obviously, original motor and so forth, all of it's original. Um, as we make our way up here, you can see on some of the suspension parts, the original factory chalk marks, you can see these are the original factory uh, steering hoses and, and so forth. Again, brake work and suspension work was just done, uh, again, for safety reasons in 2022. You can even see a little spot here. That's a fa factory paint mark still. There's actually one on the top of this here as well. Um, again, extremely, extremely original in beautiful condition, uh, a true survivor. You just think 52 years old this car is and look at how nice this is. It's really spectacular. So that pretty much concludes uh, the undercarriage. I just wanted to point out some of the highlights. Thank you. Okay, so I'm back inside the vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and let you listen to how beautiful it runs. Before I do that, I would ask if you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do that. We have thousands of people that are on that list. It's the best way to follow MS Classic Cars. We would also ask that you follow us on social media. We are on all the social media platforms. I'll say it over and over again that MS Classic Cars were not a big high volume dealer, uh, but we definitely are doing really great things and we are definitely different than everybody else. So please do your homework on our company. So this is a cold start. As I just mentioned a little bit ago, this engine has never been rebuilt. Uh, it's been uh, such a great car its entire lifetime here. It still has a ton of miles uh, to drive with only 49,000 miles on it. So wait till you see this. Cold start. Ready? You can't, can't make that up. That's a cold start. We have not started this vehicle in probably four or five days. Um, it is absolutely awesome. Listen to it purr. You just can't say enough. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of the show.